My Mom Tries to Bake Her by Jacob Nelson. Chapter 9. We had to go back home for our things, of course. Mom packed quickly while I looked. I took Alfie for a walk all around the Duke estate. We attracted crowds of children wherever we went. Look, Jess Baker's got a dog. What's your dog's name, Jess? He's so sweet. Can I pet him? But we're not allowed dogs. You know that he'll have to be put down. Yes, if you don't, you'll get a, a vict. I just smiled at them all. Alfie smiled t- too and wanted to give everyone a lick. It felt so great, everyone wishing they were me. But I didn't have time to hang out with all the Marlboro Tower kids. I went over to Devonshire, which was where all the toughest families lived. The big boys were the worst. The share boys and knives, and once a kid from Marble was crazy enough to display them and ended up in A and E. Even the little boys were scary and threw stones, and the babies in their buggies looked like they spit at you. You better. Guard me, Alfie, I said. I hoped Alfie understood guard better than Hill. Two boys from Tornis gang called. What you doing here, Baker Bum? Clear off back on your own tower or we'll give you what for. You shut up or I'll set my dog on you, I said. They didn't shut up. They said war six. Get them, Alfie. I said, slacking his head, his lid. Alfie went rushing up to them and started licking their hands and wagging his tail. He was a total failure as a guard dog, but he was so cute the boys stopped yelling at me and squatted down to pet him instead. Is he really yours, just breaker? You're not allowed dogs if you live here. Yes, but I'm moving. See, me and my mom are going to live over at St. Colfi's house, I said. They got me. You're having us on, they said in ancient. No, I'm not. His car's parked down at Marlboro and my mom's packing our stuff right this minute. I've come to show Alfie to Tony. Is he about? <clears throat> They shook their heads. Since he's indoors, said one, he's on the ninth floor. There was a bit of a dosmic going on earlier, said another, shouting and slapping and that. It had taken all my courage to come over to the shared sh- tower. I didn't dare climb the stairs or the ninth floor and knock on torn his door. His mom looked terrifying and her boyfriend was probably worse. But luckily I wasn't put to the test. One of the boys suddenly pointed. There he is over by the playground. He was on one of the swing tires. His back back to us. They shouted his name but he didn't turn round. He watched hunched over his head down. Doesn't look like he wants company. I'll go and see, I said. Come on, Alfie, I want you to meet my mate, Tony. We walked over to the play area. It was obvious there was something wrong with Tony. I could hear sniffing noises. I hope he wasn't crying. I coughed loudly so he knew someone was coming. Alfred hadn't understood about enemies, but he was brilliant when it came to my friends. He went rushing up to Tony and tried to lick his ankles. Tony worked and half laughed, half cried. Alfie jumped straight up to his lap and licked his face. Tony winched. No wonder. He had a bloodshot eye. And the skin all around it was puffed 
up amazingly. Oh, Tony, your eye! I said, "It's nothing." He mumbled. Did your mom thump you? Yeah, she did. But it was her boyfriend that punched me in the face for upsetting her. I hate him. I hate her too," said Tony. "Is you? Is this your Alfida? Wow, you're you lacking thing, Jess. I look for Staffy at Battersea. I saw a brown one, but I don't think he was yours," I said sadly. Probably not. I had him a get ages ago. Tell you what. You can have a little share of Alfie if you like. We are not going to be living here any more, but I'll get Saint Godfrey to drive me over sometimes, and then you can take Alfie for walks with me, if you want. I said. That will be great. With Saint Godfrey too, Tony asked hopefully. Yes, if you like. He says you're very talented at football. I said. Yeah, but he didn't really mean it. Yes, he did. He told us, and he wants you to join his special squad for nothing. Oh wow, really? I nodded. I sat on the next. Tire, and we both swung very slowly and gently, so that Alfie wouldn't get sick. Sea sick. He kept jumping off Tony's lap and jumping onto mine, and then back again. You're like a jumping bean, Alfie. I said. He's a great dog, Tony Storkin. You're so lucky, Jess. He said again. I so luck. I know. I kept telling myself just how lucky I was all the way to Sin's house. I walked Alfie all around the huge grounds and showed him a tree far away in the in a corner. This is a good place for weebies, I said. Pooh too, if you can manage it. But you must never ever go to the toilet in the house, okay? Alfie didn't seem to be listening. He bounded over to the glass extension and peered at the pool. He barked hopefully. No, this isn't a pool for dogs. It's for humans. And I don't even know if you can swim or not. Maybe when since Colfrey's not around, I'll let you try a little doggy paddle. I wonder if they. To water wings or dogs, for dogs. Come on, I show you round the house now. But you have to, you have got to behave indoors, okay, Alfie? Promise. I wipe all four of this pot. His paws with a tissue first, which was just as well. Alfie was very clean on the. Cream rocks. He thought he was specially put there for him to roll on. He liked the cream sofas even more. Amusing, they were dog longers. He especially liked the bed upstairs and threw himself on each one. Play fighting the duvet. I said no, Alfie. Again and again and again. But he just grinned at me, saying yes, yes. Again and again and again. I showed him the kitchen because I knew it wouldn't have any rugs or sofa or beds. Saint Godfrey was sitting at his huge kitchen table drinking a beer. Here, there, Jess, he said, like a drink, a juice for or something fizzy. No, thank you, I said politely. But could Alfie possibly have a bowl of water? Sure," said Saint Godfrey, and poured half a bottle of even water into a china soup bowl. See how lucky you are, Alfie," I whispered. Other dogs get ordinary tap water in any old chip chipped bowl. Alfie was very appreciative and served and served. I had to wait for him to finish. I didn't know what else to say to Saint Godfrey, and he didn't know what else to say to、uh, Saint. What 
to say to me now. So he nodded his head in a friendly fashion whenever he caught my eye. My dad never knew what to say to me either. I kept rehearsing things I might say to sing glory inside my head, but they were all too direct. Do you really love my mom? Will you always look after her? Do you like the idea of us living here? Do you wish I wasn't part of the bargain? Are you pretending to like me the way I'm pretending to like you? Your mom's still upstairs getting your room's sort, says St. Godfrey at last, taking another swig of beer. We can get it painted all pretty and pink and curly if you like. No, thank you, I said politely, though inside I was thinking, yuck. Well, you choose a color then, and you have you can have some new cushions and rugs and maybe a little dressing table and toys too, he went on. Can't I keep my old things? I said. Well, you can if you want, but I thought you liked new stuff, said Singlefree, to go with your new bedroom. I started to get worried and went to find mom, Alfie gambling along beside me. He wasn't used to stairs and stood, stopped still puzzled until I showed him that you went up step by step. He soon got the hang of it and liked it so much he wanted to tear up and down demandly, barking with excitement. Shoo, Alfie, stop that barking! It's just stairs. Come on, we're looking for mom, I said. She was on her hands and knees in one of the bedrooms, dabbling into the big laundry bag, counting my clothes. These bags, she said, they were part of my childhood. Whenever I went to a new home, I had to shove all my stuff in. It helped me feel like I was dirty washing. We're going to get ourselves a set of matching steel suitcases, Jess. I squat down beside her and rummage through the bag too. Where are all my things, Mom? All my cuddly toys. What the ones I want at the amusement arrest? I didn't think you want them anymore. They're all a bit grubby now, and you never play with them, said Mom, smoothing out t-shirts and jeans. I do want them, Mom. Look, I saved, saved all the woofer for you, said, she said, throwing him to me. I, so, I should think so, I said, catching him. Alfie leaped up excitedly, thinking it was a game. Look, Alfie wants to make friends with him, I said, holding Warfare out of him. It was a mistake. Alfie didn't understand. He seized Warfare in his mouth and ran round, ran round and round and round with him trumpetly. No, Alfie, bring him back, I called. As if, said Mom, Alfie came running towards me. There, look, good boy, Alfie, I said, holding out my hand for a woofer. Alfie still didn't understand. He seemed to think that woofer was a tuggy boy. He clamped his jaws and tied and pulled hard, as if this was a wonderful game. When I eventually distracted him by throwing a pair of socks, I gazed at woofer in dismay. He looks actually shocked, his head lolling, his one leg hanging loose, and the stitches on his tummy coming undone. Oh dear, don't worry, I'll see if I can shoo him back together again, said Mom. I swallowed hard. I was so used to pretending Wolfer was real that it was hard remembering he didn't actually have any feelings. 
Elsa didn't mean it. I whispered into his fluffy ears. He was just playing with you. Don't worry, I won't let him do it again. He can help being a bit rough. Alfie, now, Alfie was now deep in the laundry bag, pulling out more socks, knickers, and pajamas, scrubbing through them joyfully. You better take him out of here, said Mom. He's driving me crazy. Alfie managed to get a pair of knickers caught on the end of his nose and looked so funny that we both burst out laughing. Come here, you monkey, I said, grabbing it. I sat on the bed with Alfie on my lap, though he started struggled to get down. Watch he doesn't get his paws on that white dove said mom. I look at it. Can I have my blue David? I asked. Well, it's ever so fatty now, and it's got that hot chocolate stain. It wouldn't really go with the rest of, rest of the room, would it? said mom, looking around at the pale gray walls and the biscuit-colored rock. Sin Kofri said I could have the room any color I wanted, I said. Sin, not Sin Kofri. Well, yes, yes, you can, but maybe you like a different color scheme. You've had blue for ages, said Ma. I like blue, I said. Okay, okay. I was just suggesting Sin Kofri suggests pink, frilly and girly. I don't have to have pink, do I? I asked. No, you can have anything you like. Then I'll have blue again. We like blue, won't, don't we? Alfie, I said, and I gently made him nod his head. You can have blue then, blue walls, blue curtains, blue bedding, blue clothes. You can wear bright blue face paint and dye your hair navy. Okay, said Ma, but don't think I'm always going to give in to you. Jessica Bluebell, Camilla Baker, look, I know this is all a bit of an awful of hovel and probably feels rather overwhelming. I feel a bit weird too, actually, she said, looking around the room. It's like I'm in a dream. This is all I've ever wanted for us, just I can quite believe it's all happened for real. Alfie started whiffling a little desperate to get down from the bed, so I let him go, and he immediately ran over the door, lift his back leg, and he did a wee all down the white paint. Oh my lord, said mom, using my knickers to try to mop it out. It's not his fault, mom, he was trying to tell me he needed to go, I just didn't realize it time. He drank a whole bowl of water downstairs, I grabbed. I peered at the door. Some of Alfie's weed sprinkled the carpet in the very worrying way. What was Sin say? I said. I asked. I don't imagine he'll be served, but he won't know because I'll scrub in clean somehow. But you better make sure you take Alfie out into the garden regularly. Don't tell Sin just now. I don't want him thinking we're a liberty when we've only been here five minutes, said Mom. And I want you to be careful to just. I'm not going to wet the carpet, I said in the generality. I should hope not. No, I mean, you to, you're to keep your things tidy and not make a mess. No games like Twister and no potato prints.